Have you ever considered the final step in the plan of salvation, be faithful unto death? It seems like a reasonable and simple enough task, right? But for many, it brings fear of being perfect, never messing up, and looking out for God to get you. But it's not a message of anxiety or an ultimatum that Revelations 2.10 is spreading. It's a promise of hope and expectation of reward. Revelations 2.10 says, Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. 1 John 5, 3-5 says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Jesus' commandments are not burdensome. He is not waiting on us to mess up, and he doesn't want us frozen in fear of failure. A person who is full of faith is whole, content, peaceful, and sure. They're sure of God, content in his word, peaceful about his promises, and full of his grace. This person has overcome the world through their faith. This is not to say that we never make a mistake, because we all do. But this person is no longer lured by the false glitter of the world, no longer strung along by its insincere promises or its beautiful facade. When you're faithful, every area of your life is full of your faith. You have a faithful marriage. You're raising faithful children. You are a faithful employee or student. Being faithful and being faithful are not the same things. For we can be obedient and follow directions and our hearts not be in the task. Being faithful makes you feel joyous, sensational, blessed, marvelous, and full in Jesus. Being faithful takes growth and maturation. It takes sight and understanding. It takes spending time with your Savior and sitting at His feet to listen to His wisdom and allowing it to feel all of the cracks and holes in your faith. Being faithful is being free. With love, Brittany.